Let A be an M by N matrix. Let B be an M tuple. And let X be an N tuple of variables X1 up to Xn. Recall the following result from linear algebra. The system of linear equations AX equal to B is inconsistent, that is, it has no solution, if and only if there exists an M tuple Y such that Y transpose A is equal to the tuple of all zeros and Y transpose B is not equal to zero. A common way to prove this result is along the following lines. We first form the augmented matrix and then perform row reduction to put the matrix into reduced row echelon form. Now, the system AX equal to B is inconsistent if and only if there is a row in R of all zeros whose corresponding right-hand side value is non-zero. Suppose that row is row I, that means row I of the matrix R has only zeros and DI is non-zero. But since we obtain this matrix by row reduction, there exists a matrix M such that M times A is equal to R and M times B is equal to D. So to get row I in R, we take row I of M multiplied by A and to get the i-th entry of D, we take row I of M multiplied by B. So if the system AX equal to B is inconsistent, we can simply take Y such that Y transpose is the i-th row of M. And the other direction is clear if such a Y exists. Well, we just multiply both sides by Y transpose. What's going to happen is the left hand side will be zero and the right hand side will be something that is not equal to zero. And zero cannot equal to a non-zero value and that's where we get the contradiction. There's an analogous result for systems of greater than or equal to inequalities known as the Farkas lemma. There are different versions of the Farkas lemma and the one that we're going to focus on is the following. So the problem data are as follows. We're given an M by N matrix A and M tuple B. Again, X is an N tuple of variables X1 up to Xn. The system AX greater than or equal to B has no solution if and only if there exists an M tuple Y such that these conditions hold. First, we'll see that if you can find Y satisfying these conditions, then AX greater than or equal to B has no solution. So the direction that we're going to look at is this. Let's first write out the system as individual inequalities. Then the inequalities will be these. Now, if y1 up to ym are non-negative, then we can multiply the i-th inequality by yi and get the following. These are non-negative numbers, so the direction of inequality stays the same. And now, from these inequalities, we can obtain the following inequality. So each of the left-hand side is at least the right-hand side. So if we sum up all these left-hand sides, it will be at least the sum of the right-hand sides. And so what we can say is the sum of yi ai transpose x, where i ranges from 1 to m, is at least the sum of yi times bi as i ranges from 1 up to m. But the left-hand side is simply y transpose a times x, and the right-hand side is y transpose b. So if y transpose a is 0, this is 0, and if y transpose b is greater than 0, this is going to be greater than 0, and so we have 0 bigger than 0, which is impossible. So there's no way we can find x that satisfies these inequalities if we have a y that satisfies this condition here. Now, the other direction is where all the hard work is. And instead of showing the proof, it's more instructive to look at an example to see how one can obtain the y that satisfies this condition when the system of inequalities has no solution. A y that satisfies this condition basically certifies that the system has no solution and we call such a Y a certificate of invisibility. 
consider this system of linear inequalities. We are given that this system has no solution. What we are interested in finding is a certificate of invisibility. Now, to make things look more like the statement of the Farkas lemma, let's identify the matrix A and the tuple B. So here, the matrix A will be the following. And B is 1, 2, 1, 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to use fourier moskin elimination. And from there, we'll try to work out a certificate of invisibility. So let's first label these inequalities 1, 2, 3, and 4. And say we want to eliminate x1 first. So what we do is we need to first write down any inequalities that has no variable x1. And the fourth inequality is such an inequality. And then form new inequalities by pairing an inequality with a positive coefficient for x1 and an inequality with negative coefficient for x1. So if we take 1 and 2 and add them, we get the inequality 2x2 plus 3x3 greater than or equal to 3. And then the last pair is 3 and 2. Adding them will give us 2x3 greater than or equal to 3. And we continue labeling these new inequalities. So this one here is the same as 4. And the new inequalities will be given labels 5 and 6. Next, we're going to eliminate x2, but before we do that, we need to make sure the coefficient of x2 is 1 here. So we're going to multiply both sides of this inequality by 1 half. And now we can eliminate x2. So again, we copy down any inequality that has no x2. And now there's only one pair of inequalities that we can use to form a new inequality. We just take 7 plus 4, and that will give us the following. So this is 6, and this is a new inequality, we'll give it label 8. And now we can see that if we take 3 quarters times 6 plus 8, we'll get 0 greater than or equal to 15 over 4, which is a contradiction. Okay, so this contradiction is obtained by doing this. But we know that 8 is 7 plus 4. So this can be written as 7 plus 4 here for 8. And 6 is obtained from 3 plus 2. So this can be written as 3 plus 2 here. But now if we look at 7, 7 is 1 half times 5. So we can replace 7 by 1 half times 5. But 5 in turns is 1 plus 2. So we can replace this by 1 plus 2. Now, all the labels here are for the original inequalities. And so, if we simplify this, we get 1 half times 1 plus 5 quarters times 2 plus 3 quarters times 3 plus 4. And the certificate of invisibility will be given by these coefficients here. So we can set y to be 1 half, 5 quarters, 3 quarters, and 1. And you can easily check that y transpose a is going to be 0, and y transpose b is exactly 15 over 4. And that's exactly the kind of certificate that we want to find here.